I think maybe twice in the past like two or three days. I'm excited just to get that like look on the mini map so I can actually take the time and utilize it for my own rank like play performances. Oh, yeah. So I'm excited just for the uh, the 3P look there, Miles. We've got a lot of looks here. Brand new map here in the league. Those folks who've been joining the 24 seven playlist in uh, MW3. I know I have come across a lot of fans in that one, but what a gorgeous map. Shout out to the uh, map designers there at uh, Sledge. Who the hell, how do you get up to that piano? It's a Didn't lovely Benny Grand. Piano there. Never noticed it. <laughs> It's a gorgeous piano into the first hard point we go. And there is a nice shot across the entirety of the bar scene where those nays land. But all aboard the fame train, so far is he in the point. Yeah, that is a perfect look of them missing every single sentence right there. Just by a little bit. I think they would have connected on the guy in the window if not. But either way, LAG going to take full advantage. Good timing on the double child. And just like that, nice little P1 push through. Opening breaks always going to be a, a tone setter. And again, miss nades by Vegas. Well, it's going to cost him at least a little bit of time. There's a lot of uh, different places to hide here in this bar. It's a wonderfully vibey location. And I'm sure with the airflow from that nice outdoor pool section, it's allowing fame to run around the point to keep finding these kills down a purge the last man up there for L for vegas legion is lag maintain a wonderful control over p1 though chance the rotation's almost done we're going to be looking towards new i don't remember what this one's called but it looks like a nice little padded room you could probably sit down there i don't know have a drink and tell a fun story here on six star man just that room with all the vent access but there's fame showing off a nice little nerd spot by yeah the old infinity pool but those were some weird spawns that came through with the white time on p1 that actually set vegas up with a really good break and pinch opportunity, but they don't really make anything happen. And while Diamondcon's trying to climb, Nero, as pointed out by Nameless, that's what he wanted to see, him being a rat inside of the vents. We only pick up one player, though, as the swarm around time continues. That's a consistency. Players trying to use that spot, that little hop up, but Vegas reading it perfectly, getting the kills, getting the trades, and getting that hill time. Plenty of hidey holes in this hard point. Lots of ways in. Good coverage there from the outside by Geo, not to get the kills. Over Nero now up close and personal in his assault. They managed to punch a hole through the defense. DC on the outside, another body into the pool. Oh dear, Purge, what a two-piece. Back and alive and kicking, not for long though. Diamond Con managed to get it. And once again, a strong, but not massively profitable hard point there from LAG. We now go from one bar to the infinity pool to the next bar. Up top, left-hand side of the mini-map, open for business. Yeah, and this is a nerd spot and a half. Geo just going to be the waiter inside the, well, pool at least, but he gets chopped down. You also had, by the way, Nero playing very deep and distant in his spawn to make sure to lock down the spawns and block the spawns and the opposing team. And really, you just funnel into what? Two directions? Attach has the hop up. Purge has an incredible head glitch uh, over towards that left ramp. So this is looking like a, a pretty perfect setup. And oh, no. again, Geo just playing so distant. Might get caught down, but that should be easy trades for his teammates. Nero just switch right around, or maybe Fame will just break it down. Hey, fame train right in. Clean break. LAG, your hard point, no questions asked. Looking at the lead change in a brief moment. Vegas on the slow approach from down low. They're going to be coming out of that bar, a little tipsy, shaky legs. Can they get towards the hard point? Estrell might be able to cut off those reinforcements, moving across towards new. The low side of the big statue, again, another very, very naughty spot to be in. Plenty of angles of attack on these hard points. Let's see how our teams hold it. Yeah, also like a little nerd, like underground route you can take to go and break this time as well. No one on LAG is going for it just yet, but definitely caught me off guard the first time <laughs> it happened to me. So always got to pay attention to little things. Yeah, yeah, a couple of players might be coming across that one soon. Here comes the approach. Fame train. Choo-choo. All aboard. Will he be derailed? No, he will not. Nero's gone. Top shots into attach as well. Not enough for the kill. Teammates are there for it. Three once again. LAG with another outstanding break. Nameless. The pick might start to to look a little dangerous. Oh, well, speaking of things that are dangerous, not those doors. They will block every single bullet, no questions asked. So one of those awkward moments where players just having standoffs. But either way, Vegas are kind of struggling in this game. It feels like LAG just able to bully their way through the front. But I suppose the one solid hold that Vegas had, at least on the previous hill, is going to be enough that they still have the lead. So I know Gorilla has been wheeling and dealing, but now we get to test their swimming boots and goggles. Fame on point already but that sort of first blood as the noon time pops and you see how distant every single spawn right now is from vegas it's a long ways away before they can break this hill yeah it's a long way to go well we put to test the swimming skills shades of raid shades of mw2 and why well, you want to get that pistol out the purge fight down low is attached gonna be in there as well to now help get the time 
How long can Purge hold his breath for? At this point in time, quite some time. Oh, Geo on a six spree. That's going to be streaks here on six star. A very, very open map indeed, and plenty of open angles to get those cruise missiles in or towards the bar. Felt like a moment where everybody was trying to look into the water and really staring down. So Geo just capitalizes, takes full advantage. And more water fights. The pistol, yep, going to be maybe king in that environment. So Purge does give you the extra one, but all things considered, near tied up game. I don't think any true like full 60 or money hills have been discovered just yet. So we're just gonna have to square up back over towards P1. Purge doesn't have any help, wants to play an off angle and get out with his life. And well, he does get traded, but just trying to buy his teammates some time. Geo, that next man in line. And I shots out of Geo. Let's see if the nades are a little bit better this time around Vegas first go around. Not massive work out of LAG, but Vegas with a slight lead to work with now as Geo slowly roaming the halls, doing it silently. Wonderful work. Cuts the LAG defense in half, finds another kill, keeps his boys alive. Oh, that's perfect too as well, at least on the Geo side of things, or maybe you will get opened up, force him to turn around and nice little swarm around the zone. Nero though, last Romano around the point, able to pick up three. And well, that's gonna seal the deal potentially for these final 20 seconds. LAG, maybe gonna have to chalk it up and focus over towards new. They're gonna have all bodies near the point, but Fame just gets caught sliding for free. And depending on where he spawns, it could get spicy, but nope, right back with his teammates towards that new time. We'll go. New time, Purge trying to find the entry through one of the mini vents. Nero backing him up, 5-3 Fame. Can we get ourselves another pair of streaks to play with here for Vegas? New hard points up, that tiny little couch room. No one at home. Assault's gonna try to get the time cut down by Geo again. 18 and 11, not enough to get the next. Nero, can he get the streaks? Here's the game. Ooh, the gunfight of fame from behind. Slows it down. Can't get to the 150 mark. LAG, can you get back in the game now? Well, close side spawns right now, buying them that extra lifeline for the hill time thus far. Purge waiting for his moment. Him and Attach working together, and well, that's the bait to get Purge oh. nearby. He delivers you from two, and Attach doesn't mind. He'll bait for you. A clean break there by Vegas Legion. And it looks like they are reading the spawns as well, or maybe not. They're just covering every single vent, every single angle. As Purge right now, you see in the hill, he is in hell. Oh, Geo! Can't get any more out of it. Nero up next. One, two, no problem. The third, not going to happen. Fame keeping it going. Attached with the last cut off kill. Numbers there for Vegas. Back and forth we go. The final seconds of the hard point come to an explosive close. Once again, over to the bar here in the second set. Yeah, and LAG, you see this time, they're going to be fighting for these back spawns as well. They're taking the, the real depth routes to try to make it happen. Purge, though, heads up play. He's going to stop that push. Diamond Con now the last man standing. And I think Vegas, maybe he have lost count or maybe Purge off spawn can pick him up for the trade. So Vegas, they handle and Purge, especially that pressure perfectly. And now you go right back to the same standard setup they had the last go around. Phil the head glitch just to watch one angle in an actual power position from Geo to watch the hop up. This is looking nearly impossible to break down. Nigh on impossible fame eradicated over 200 points for Vegas Legion. The business end is well and truly in sight. Still a cruise missile to go for Geo. We'll see if that has to come into play, but at this point in time, it doesn't feel too necessary. Purge keeping mid map, a very dangerous place to be indeed for the members of LAG. Geo finding kill number 23 and three in the spree. They're just having difficulty really stabilizing at any given moment. Fame may be going to help out in that sense. Picks up a big two. Fame, by the way, 25 kills. Adam Assault yet to get his 10th. So there's a slang problem. There is a beautiful look of the cruise wow. missile. That is so much extra map space. And well, Geo going to land a bomb over towards the middle of time. But LAG now just going to have to worry about those split spawns that are coming through. And here we go. Fame, you've been stunned. Can you win the fight? You can. Big win. Gorillas holding it together. Finding the kills. Estriel can't get it done. A few moments to break. LAG. Let's go for a quick listen in. Someone drop. Someone drop. I got attacked. Someone drop. 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 Someone Got one, I already went. Left side, DJ. He went white, went white. Are you, you can reach out, reach out. He's weak to attach. Wait a minute, I'm just I'm just I'm with you, I'm with you. 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 I
One try here. I'm trying to get your Ivy for you. I see it. I have all your cross. I have all your cross. They're gonna go Ivy. I got Nate. I got Nate. I got Nate. I'm trying to get 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 Nate. Kitty, Kitty dead. Kitty dead. Help you, Kitty. One more P2. He's in here, P2. Front P2. Down now. Oh, he's dead. Ivy, Ivy dead. I missed. I missed. I'm on here. I'm trying to help him. Is that him? That's him. Blow on 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 him. I mean, surely not, right? They're not going to make this comeback. It was 241 to like 113. All of a sudden, here we are. Thought we were trolling with the listening, but LAG orchestrating a comeback, but holding P1 seems incredibly difficult. You got Vegas taking all sorts of routes, but that kill feed has been nothing but purple. These boys are holding on. They're in. Diamond Con stops the time. Oh, an unfortunate mantle. Geo keeps it going now. All down to assault. He's got to go massive. Backs him up from fame. Keeps the play alive. There's the contest. Nero finds the pinch. Oh, nearly the second. It's a Vegas half point. Five seconds. Get the quick contest. DC's there. Attach. Can't get it done. Game's still going. We're going towards new. It's going to be a P2. Vegas might not even be there first. Number five and number seven is Salt and Estriel. The opportunity to at least make a dent. Okay. And on the outer, they win the gunfights as well. Purge is going to fall. LAG, desperation hours. But they can make this happen. Send it. They cut down a Tash. Geo's got a fight too. Quick fight. There's a contest. No hope. Geo from the vents. Great work. Fame on the pinch. It should be done. No way. No how. But what a battle towards the end. Vegas Legion, take map number one. Brand new map and a brand new mustache on Adam Assault as well. Caught me off guard just like that comeback did. I was thinking on P1, surely it's going to be too mixy the hill, too much contest time going through. Vegas, if they get the opening, maybe pop off and make it happen. But LAG, they simply had that fight in them. And I think when we uh, take a look at that sort of like hill by hill breakdown, I think it was like the P3s for Vegas that were really the standout moments. Uh, outside of that, it certainly seemed like LAG were fighting, and I think we actually got the, the full spectrum of that map as well. Some of those water fights were just atrocious to look at. There's the bullets seemingly not connecting, so uh, yeah, that... maybe no true Aquaman in this lobby. Haven't cracked that code just yet. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I think Purge is our front runner for uh, King of the Seas. He took yeah, what looked like two full bursts from the Renetti and then beat that player down. That was something. Lots to learn, guys. Once again, we thought you were, you thought fans that you were done with the water action. Now that we're in MW3, well, Hydro, the spiritual successor, lives on here in Six Star. Here are the highlights from that Vegas Legion map win. Yeah, I forgot about the doors too. Just the indestructible. So you're making eye contact with people just waiting for someone oh, yeah, to be the first weird. one to kick it open. So yeah, a map that has those awkward moments. I want the stat of like best water KD we have in the league. Like we've had one water map, it seems like every year for the past however many years. Like I just want to know what player is actually I don't know, King Neptune, Aquaman, yeah. whatever title we want to give, it would be a fun one to have. But yeah, it was an absurd comeback. Like again, Vegas, it was 241 to legit, like what? 115, 120? <laughs> Purge is Wait. just, I don't know, playing a horror game inside of the water. I don't know what's going on. I think, I think it was just like Assault's POV. He's like, I swear to God, I'm shooting him. I'm letting yeah. him have it. Like, with the, we all pulled out our Renettis for this very reason. So needs to get that man a harpoon gun because he needed it there. Vegas Legion, they take map number one and a, a decent start there for LAG. I mean, I take it all back. I try to give Nameless some uh, some worry about the online show, but there it was. Vegas continued to look very dominant after yeah. that P4. Never looked back. A slight bit of a difference there in the second set, but. Very, very strong showing out of Vegas. Good stuff for them. They roll the dice. It lands up good. We'll see how they go throughout the rest of the series. We'll go back to uh, a new hard point in Vista if we can get to map four. It was exciting to watch that first one. We'll see if uh, if the series will take us that far. Karachi Search and Destroy coming up next. 
And just for those playing at home, it was in fact both of the P3s there for the side of Vegas, where not quite a full 60. They got about 45 seconds the first go around and effectively got the full 60 the second go around that uh, the big difference maker towards the end. So I'm thinking when I play rank now, that's going to be a hill that I just hardcore rotate to. Played like Nero did, just pushed in the depths of the back spawn and hopefully my tier eight teammates will make the out purge sort of plays. Lay down in P1, let a couple guys run past, pick up the, the sneaky two. But yeah, as you pointed out, we are going back to now the sort of standard section, the maps that we have the experience with, the Karachi SMD. And uh, I would simply say that one LAG really going to want to get that quick bounce back from because these guys it has just been an online to land difference yes they are sitting in the top eight they are in well not a comfortable but in a spot where they have that champ spot thus far but if they keep having poor online performances it is simply not going to end up panning off for them in a positive way long term so they want to get these cdl points and especially against a team like vegas would be a great team to get 10 against yeah we keep thinking about those sort of the race towards champs, the race towards staying in the top eight in the standings, and there's a couple of teams there that are sort of neck and neck, and we'll see that develop throughout the season. Again, we're over the over the halfway mark, it feels like, chance with Toronto on the horizon, quickly become one of our favorite stops here in the CDL Tour. And of course, all that run towards champs, two teams that certainly want to make it, two teams that want to turn the legacy of both of their respective organizations around. One map at a time, one series at a time, one Karachi search and destroy round at a time for both teams. And while well, the biggest problem that Vegas have had on this map is the opening duels win percentage, 11th in the league, means they are constantly playing from behind, but also for the fact that Vegas have been incredible on attacking rounds, definitely gonna be something we have to pay attention to. Uh, I know Attach overall, I mean, he's been fantastic in every single game mode, but especially so even in Search and Destroy, opening duel win percentage, 56%, not too shabby at all. And his kills per rounds are up there, but this is also a map where Purge likes to play solo likes to run around and hunt down these kills in round one no time wasted already cut off the middle of the map and i mean right now he just commented to his teammates nobody crossed over towards bridge if you get this bomb down we're gonna have a very comfy setup oh well, sweet time diamond con the lone man over towards the b side of the map for lag eyes are on there for a moment here comes the quick shuffle the purple arrows have moved the play has been called purge might be in an incredible spot to catch out a couple on the cross here they're about to maybe hit that threshold Estrel going through the back. Bit of time passed now and Purge still unaware. Oh dear. It's going to come down to attach. Can he spot these players out? Looking for it. Might be able to get at least one. There's the first blood. Oh, well, yeah, surprised to attach. He got info on both of those players though. So a big moment maybe for the intel. Downside is Purge is going to fall. That is a patient fame, but that is a fame that got gunned down. We got a 2v2 or maybe all up to Diamond Con and his position is known. Oh, he's moving though. He's managed to get himself out of that top window. Geo now has to guess a little bit. 20 seconds on it. Nero's managed to get himself towards top third. He's got a great spot on this bomb. Diamond Con, no hope. Geo did not need to guess. Nero was there for it. It was a lovely start there from Vegas Legion. That was a very interesting round too. I mean, you basically had Vegas were like scared to plant the bomb because they had no intel the entire time. But however the round pans out, this is literally the gunfight that was the difference maker fame from prone to standing took a little bit too long. And well, Nero simply guns him down. So as interesting of a round one developed on a strat front, it is all up to Gunny in COD. Nero delivers. And Vegas, again, best team in the uh, league on attacking rounds on Karachi. They live up to that expectation there. Aim worthy enough to lift the bomb. Nades exploding across the map. Nothing too far these days. We say goodbye to Ordnance Grim Clubs. Urge gives Estri all the hands, though. Nero trying to back him up there in the kill feet. Pressure now on as Vegas Legion. As decisive. Oh, opener. Not enough to get the third, but there's the teamwork once again. And Fame finds himself completely alone and well and truly up the creek. Oh, uh, Purge, yeah, doesn't even waste time making sure he does not get a paddle. Takes him down. Easy reads there. And that just feels like the Vegas player is just able to run rampant. Just aggression through the middle of the map. The coverage is always perfect. Seems like a moment where Nero might just be doing some insanity sliding towards mid. But that's just because Attach was above him there for the easy trade. So wheeling and dealing as aggressive as you want him. Vegas on point. First blood's rolling through. And really just even the capitalization of like the map control that they can get after they get the kills pushed out. Purge goes from top AC, just ends up living in some random corner inside a coop. Always heads up gameplay off the rookie. 
3 1 split here for LAG on defense. They've managed to swarm over the B bomb site, and Nero is going to hit that corner. What? <laughs> hit fame as well. Nidig gets the second. Estra walks away with a bit of tam damage. Geo's there for the trade. A beautiful opening there for both teams. It's a 2 2. Turns it into a 2 1. Attach all alone. Uh, that's the big difference maker gunfight there for assault. He at least gives you the advantage. The question is when you're playing against attach in a clutch situation, is it really an advantage to have that extra person? Plenty of time to break this down. He doesn't have the bomb, but he at least has the covert sneakers. So attach has one very small thing working for him. Everything else, the odds are massively against him. He's going to have to traverse this map and take care of both the IR players from LAG. And he simply has no intel. Hasn't heard a sound in the past 30 seconds. I know. Well, he's wearing the... Oh, okay. Diamond Con, still a shooter. I had a Harry Potter joke line up there, but you're going to have to wait for the next round, COD fans. Vegas, not unable to capitalize on that. The King of Clutch shut down. But Diamond Con does it. His fourth kill in the map so far, sitting at two deaths. How was a... Oh, that was a rival nine. I thought it was an AR. Uh, that's uh, it's certainly what it felt like. That, hey, one of those gunfights. Rob 9, pretty good gun. I am down for the propaganda on that front. But <laughs> either way, LAG, very solid round. They might not have gotten the first bloods, but it was just trades on trades. Astro cleans up the kill from his fallen flow. Uh, I think it was Diamond Con that traded him after the fact, after Geo got the trades. But Assault really wins the, the biggest gunfight of the round. Now LAG for the attack. Straight down mid. They got a ton of pressure and presence over towards A. Assault, another first blood. Attached from heavens above, though. Him and Geo work together. And that push might get stuffed. All these players getting caught out. And it is just gunny on gunny. No one's playing S D. Nice round of TDM coming through. Love a TDM, mate. Diamond Con 1v2 against Geo and Purge. A minute to go. And he's looking to recover the bomb. The Vegas duo have gone towards B, leaving A wide open for now chance. But Diamond Con's taking his time, checks his mags. He's going to be sweet for the fight, but he has read this for a brief moment. What does he know that we don't? He's just uh -oh. playing patient. Wasn't patient enough, though. That timing was horrific. Call of Duty yeah. timing at its finest. Oh, my God. In 4K, he's gone the wrong way now. No bomb. The lads are going to check the bomb site. They're going to see that the bomb's down. They've let a little bit of gunfire rattle across as we are desperately trying to get into the action and it's not going to happen. Purge and Geo, slow and steady win that race. This Diamond Con finds himself in a very tough one. And that's tough for Diamond Con because he was neither a rabbit nor a hare. He was actually making the correct heads up play call as well. Just Spidey senses not tingling enough. And again, that is literally if he waits for another two seconds, maybe has the opportunity to make a play. But either way for Vegas, their trades have just been outstanding. Their teamwork is always there. Even when Attach is flying off the top rope from top ACs, Geo is still looking down from bottom green. So... Vegas Legion right now, everybody around from the trades. Teamwork flowing, and these guys have been fantastic on the attacking rounds, not mixing up the strats either. Trophy out, three players crossing. It was Purge that was roaming towards mid, but Purge has instincts. He's been playing the late flank over towards A. Meanwhile, Estriel in position, just gets caught and gunned down. Another first blood for Vegas. Gorgeous work from Vegas there once again, the fadeaway. Nero still trying to get towards that bomb site. Fame covering it from deep smoke. It's not a joke. They're sending it. Whoa, the lineup only gets one. The bomb's still moving, though. Nero's got it. Diamond Con trying to watch the drop. He's not going to be able to keep him off the bomb site for too much longer. The numbers there starting to work out. And here comes the assassin in the form of Purge. He's about to hit the ladder. This could be a big problem for DC. Oh, uh, he's just underneath, actually. No. Well, he's still been uh, very sneaky. You see, Diamond Con knows that some funny business might be up, but the funny business was the bomb plant spot purge. Able to at least hunt him down, though, so his position pays off long term. Adam Assault for the 1v2. He wants to catch a player when he's planting the bomb. He might be able to catch him here. Caught. Bomb didn't get planted. 20 seconds to go. Purge playing the man, not the bomb. And here comes the check. And that's the gunfight. Purge gets it. Assault could only find one from there. And Purge, nerves of steel, keeping the Vegas run alive. Yeah, Purge, just a, uh, a good poker player. You play the, the man, not the hand. Knows Adam Salt going to be playing distant. Wants to catch him when he's going for the bomb plant. Purge playing no games. Has the rival nine. Just go and hunt him down. Incredibly consistent, this rookie. I'm telling you, making the heads up plays. Respawn, S&D, all the same to him. 
And right now, Vegas Legion, I mean, they're just taking LAG to task. It has not been remotely close. We saw some good close moments in the opening six star, but here we're looking at 6-1, unless LAG can turn things around. Purge, man of the moment, gets himself to AC, calls the Cucumber. Might be able to catch a few players out. Oh, this is a lovely angle to be in. Got the teammates coverage there as well. This could be a first blood, right where he left the last round off. I mean, he's just waiting for his moment. I think Atash sort of gave up on the gunfight there, but Adam Assault at some point is just going to meet his fate. I have to imagine. Oh, no. oh yes. waiting. Yes, that first out like a light. Nero on the other side of the map gets his as well. Oh boy, starting to fall to pieces. Another 1v1 win as Purge on a five spree now. Estriel is going to send it, and this could be the streaks. That's it. That's the round, and that's Vegas. Yeah, it, that's got to be the game too, right? Purge has the cruise missile now. Vegas have been looking unstoppable, untouchable. And again, their trades have been fantastic. This has just been like electric teamwork the entire time. Even for the moment for Purge up top, where I'm thinking he's just going to stand up and kill Assault, he actually plays it patient enough to make sure that it is more of a guarantee. And obviously in that round, he turns that into a, a nice little three kill round as well. So Vegas continue to do whatever they want. They get all the map control in the world. And the only rounds where LAG have fought back at all when the trades have come through, they have struggled even and lower man sort of engagement fights. And once again, Vegas, three players over towards B. Purge on an island. He's got a cruise. Why not? Take your time, call it in, get the bomb down, win the rounds. There it comes. Perfect relay of information. Oh, Geo is going to start to eat him alive. LAG running out of options. Assault managed to dodge that one well. You've had to sacrifice a tremendous amount of map control. Geo finds kill number two. And that could be it. Bomb down. Yeah, rookie dominance in this one. Geo picking up the extra couple kills off the intel in Purge. Unstoppable in these moments. Even the stun here to make Estriel's life hell. He's in a 1v3 in an unclutchable round. You called it from a 6-star to a 6-1. Vegas Legion looking perfect on Karachi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another purge. Master class to find a few rounds there, and he should be smiling with damn good reason. Vegas, dominant work there in the search and destroy. They close out the 6-star. They take a 2-0 lead in the series. As LAG, their online struggles continue. Air control I mean, next, though. You never know, mate. You never know. I I, well, you never know, but Vegas, like, did they improve? It seems like even more so. Like, keep in mind for stage two, a couple roster changes and purge switched roles, and they were like pretty optimistic. Had a pretty good online split, were decent on land, but they were showing improvements throughout the stage. I mean, they looked incredible, I'd say, on six star, at least a couple hills. They had the ideas down pack completely, but that is Karachi that was just, again, too easy. Nine and two out of purge. He was simply able to do whatever he wanted. And if these guys have been grinding the new maps, making improvements on the old ones as well, I think Vegas Legion uh, looking very comfortable at this stage playing with each other. They're smiling so far. High race control coming next. And I really do hope we get to see a Vista hard point. It would make today that a little bit more spicy. Rio to close out the series if we have to go there. But who knows, ladies and gents. Right now, things looking absolutely fantastic for Vegas Legion. After a heartbreaking loss at Major 2, they're starting Stage 3 very, very well so far. We're going to go to a quick commercial break on the other side of this one. Chance and I'll be walking you through high rise control. We'll see if Vegas can close the series out 3 to nothing. Or can LAG get right back in at it? thing we'll find out after the break upgrade your game with the scuff the official controller of the call of duty league the call of duty league is brought to you by monster energy the official energy drink of the cdl
Guess who's back? Back again. The CDL's back. Tell your friends. LAG taken on Vegas Legion. Map number three is on its way. High rise control will be the place where we throw down next and throwing down so far Vegas Legion. Absolutely giving LAG the hands. Six star was a banger. Not such a close out finish, but of course that Karachi S&D was an absolute slaughter. 6-1 the final score. Will this be the end of the series? Will Purge continue to purge his opponents? Will LAG find the comeback? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z, Johns. Well, look, if you're talking about guys that sort of have a uh, alter ego, maybe the new mustache on Adam Assault will let him change his ways coming into map three. I mean, again, he's one of those players that, again, online to land. There's been the tales of two different players, but in control and on high rise specifically, this is more of his wheelhouse, his time to shine, his KD, absolutely fantastic, fantastic, excuse me. But again, this is the land performances. So like Assault, world champion on land. We know he doesn't get nervous. We know this man can provide. But online, they simply need to make sure they have a better stage. No more starting in loser's bracket come major time. Gorillas need to turn around here. You're not wrong, though. Many players throughout COD history have got these sort of alter egos, whether it's Kenny and Kenny with a bandana. Was it Doug with sleeves? Doug without sleeves. This time could be Adam Assault with and without the Tash. We'll find out if it matters not. High Rise Control, the last chance here for LAG in the series to stay alive. And the stats, ooh, I'm not sure which way I'm leading. Oh, well, I mean, hey, if you're just only staring at the stats, you definitely lean towards uh, LAG, more of their bread and butter. Maybe a spicy thing, though, that you see on the side of Vegas is that they only have two wins on this map in two and two in the round fives as well. So a team that often goes the distance and maybe each of these teams just looking for that one offensive win to really set yourselves apart. LAG, I'll get your first stab at it. Diamond Com for the first blood and fame, MCW in hand. You can chow that with Rival. I've seen some things. I've seen things. There's a Gwyn back at Major 2 doing some things. Fame gets thinged by Purge. Flying through there with a the Renetti. Another one from Attach there. Nearly a clean sheet for Vegas Legion. They're finding the kills all over the place and they are pushing LAG right back into their building. Yeah, this is a massive problem. Uh, both power positions on both wings of map secured by some AR players. Vegas attached down low and, well, you got Nero living inside of your spawn. So everything that could go wrong might go wrong. But Nero, last one standing, gets cleaned up. So LAG have battled. They have dealt with the spawn trap. And they've gotten out with a little bit of pressure on A. Geo down low, though. Nice little snapper working together with his teammate. And I mean, Fame never even thinks about turning around in shots like that. My God, I wish I could do it. <laughs> what a way to end the spree. That propane tank. Wow, what a lit start of the map. This has been, though, 30 odd seconds to go here. Vegas still holding the line. Massive pressure up the B Street. But Geo, once again, he's absolutely slamming to start the series off. Six and three. Start the map off. You know what I'm saying? It's getting hot in here. Dude, yeah, Geo's hand is hot, by the way. His damage numbers might honestly be out of control for a single round. Uh, he has been shooting, laser point, everybody in sight, LAG, desperation. I mean, what, 12 seconds left on the clock, and you got to go stand on one of the zones just to stop it. Estriel gives it the old college try. He gets cut down immediately. Assault's going to have to fly out and do the same, but there is just nowhere to go. That was an absolutely suffocating round there. Vegas Legion, that is about as clean as you could ask for. They might have failed on the spawn trap in that one moment, but outside of that, that was dominant. Absolutely brilliant opener. They're continuing the run they had from Karachi. They've not slowed down a minute. Vegas Legion. Very, very good on defense. We'll see if they can keep it going on the offensive round now. LAG, your chance to bounce back. Spicy one. And Geo, look how happy he is. He's well proud of himself. I mean, yeah, one of those guys just doesn't blink. You know he gets turned for match day. Absolutely rocking and rolling. Here we go, though. Attacking around Vegas. Legion. See if Attach can close out that three spree. Get himself towards six. As it will be the favorite word we say on broadcast of pretty much from here on out. Six star, six rounds, six free. Uh, well, if Toronto ever plays, we got the six on the six. Oh Gotta my God. keep those in mind as well. But long way to go before we get there. Nero right now dancing as well. is taking about six bullets while standing on side the hill. But now six seconds of contest time. But Assault makes the move, slides into death. And the slow progress over towards B continues. And again, the trades right now are fantastic. You point out attached, thinking about going on the six spree. Yep. Yep. One kill away, he's going to get it. He's going to get a segment as well. Here comes Diamond Con. Bird should have this. Attached for the trade if not, and it all works out. Quick check. 
That's it. Streaks in the bag. You're looking at the B zone as well. It's a glorious offensive from Vegas Legion. Yeah, six three there. And well, with the three segments captured, they're halfway to getting the six they need in this round. And attach right now, maybe shooting like the devil. They got a nice little hold on the map. Plenty of players pushed up. They're just waiting for the kills to flow their direction. Geo, the omnipresent force inside of the hill. And attach continues. He's 10 and 2 in these two rounds. He has been everywhere on this map. He's still going, maybe eyes on a few more. Tough to deal without that. All went through the fence. Nero, though, finding kills all over the place on the A zone. Now Vegas Legion. Nero cutting out players from behind. Assault's going to give his boys a tiny bit of space to work with. Attach right back at it. Eight spree from him. Two minutes on two on the game clock. And the second segment's gone. You're not going to need a whole lot. This should be round. Vegas. Oh! God! A tactical nuke out of Adam Assault. But Nero is still on the point. Oh, Assault, he's just too icy. Ow. Look at him go. That's the funniest three spree multi-kill I think I've seen in quite some time. So Vegas doing literally everything right, except not exploding. That's tough. Idiots, why didn't they not explode? The hard work drained, attached now calling the crews. They're not letting this round get away from him with committing. Top of high rise has become an absolute slaughter. Finds nothing with it. Pressure still on. LAG are not out of this yet. Well, the bigger problem I think LAG are going to have is just the life count at this point, right? They were getting forwarded enough early on that they're down to 11. Every single kill is going to set them back that much further. And now Purge, well, set up for the spawn traps. Also has the Dolphin dive on, so maybe another hybrid player in the mix. But oh, right oh, now oh, it's oh. just attaching the feed. Assault last man standing aggressive on the map. Purge going hunting. Purge collecting that extra scalp. And while he gets traded from LAG, it's five lives remaining. Make it just four. This would be uh, virtually impossible for LA to win. Yeah, this would be very impressive indeed. We're not going to drain that segment either. Uh-oh. Geo punches his way through that left flank. Assault trying to keep it safe, trying to stabilize. Still on towards the zone we go. Nine to two now. Lives dwindling. They're over by the A zone. A slow and steady approach here from Attach should get it. Fame. Not going to find anything with a gunfight. Attach gets them both. My good God. Vegas, absolutely a deserved round. Despite the madness, the absolute shenanigans, I'm sure we've got a replay. I mean, look, there's a lot of fun everywhere. As you pointed out, yeah, the whole propane nuclear explosion on top of high rise. Uh, not ideal, but Attach just had an absolute monster round as well. Literally from the opening break, he was just the coverage for his teammates that were slowly capturing the B zone. He picks up extra maybe three or four kills along the way, then jumps in the zone and does it himself and still stays alive for another minute where like the damage and output that he was getting, he's just coming to his teammates, almost like a funnel system, telling them exactly where to look. So Atash making the game incredibly easy right now for his teammates is I mean, we might be on board with just another freaky fast Friday. It might be a, a six hour one day. Super freaky fast Friday. Oh, not faded. It might happen. Five to nothing in the segments department. So Vegas, if they end it here, that's done. If they get to a final round, they're definitely getting defense. But we'll see what happens because uh, again, anything and can and will happen here in the CDL. I was a bit worried that Assault was going to fall off there and make that literally poetry in motion. Still live for the moment. And you capture on both zones as well. Three man. Bam actually went in the gunfight over towards A. I was going to say, as long as he's staying alive, it's going to make that B zone capture effectively a guarantee. Maybe full send in the final oh. second, but the trades are there, but not before the zone actually gets captured. So nice place from LAG. They get one zone on board, but still a long way to go. Long way to Two minutes though. Long way to go, but plenty of time to get it done. Attach keeping the kills going. 18 and 6 so far for Dylan Price. Urge down low makes it all his. Over to Nero. Right side windows. Not a good place to be right now. Vegas Legion starting to apply pressure. I mean, LAG, they just can't find a groove. They're stuck in a situation where they're just like getting caught sprinting back in the spawn trap. Nobody has pressure anywhere. I mean, you've opened up like the green tarp side of the map, but that's, you've made it five feet out of your spawn. Congratulations. You still got a long way to go. Estriel the furthest forward. Nero though, on a nice little head glitch. The teamwork is there, but Nero is also picks up the big two and yeah, LAG simply suffocating in their spawn, not able to really make anything happen on the map. They had two minutes to play with now. It's a poultry one. Estriel finds a way out. Nero, 
tries to put him back in a cage. But they're fighting. Natasha is so sneaky. So dangerous. 22 and 7. 22 and 8. He's still cooking. I mean, yeah, he's been able to do virtually whatever he's wanted the entire time. This is close on life count, though. Inside of the spawn traps coming through, LAG have at least kept it even because they had enough success early on. Now we're on the zone. Assault desperate for some help, and he's just simply not going to get it in time. So then will be the last man standing, waiting for the reinforcements, and he can't buy nearly enough time to make something happen. 37 seconds left on the clock. LAG game is on the line. They're going to have to make this play the one to really seal the deal. Will it be a Freaky Friday or will it be the really fantastic turnaround here? Diamond Connor's taking the longest route he could possibly take. Oh, Damn. Been slammed by Chio. That is magnificent work. 20 seconds to go. Two lives left. Now down to Diamond Con. It is over. It is done. He will fight his way out of spawn into nothing. But the end of the series screen 3 0 Vegas Legion. An absolute bloodbath. And that is absolute, yeah, dominant fashion in the maps that, like, we've seen them play on the most. Like, the record on High Rise hasn't been fantastic. They just look good. good. Their teamwork looked like it was flowing the entire time. The Karachi S&D, a near flawless performance. And maybe I know that sort of, you know, Six Star was getting out of control for a minute, but they almost had like a 250 to 120 beat down as well. If Gorillas didn't start popping off on a few key hills, so... I think Vegas in the meantime might have gotten even stronger in, yeah, my word, Dylan Attach, 25 and nine. That's a fantastic KD, 4,800 damage. He was simply able to do whatever he wanted that entire game. I mean, that is flawless stuff out of Attach, MVP of that series, or at least of that map for sure. But Vegas Legion, genuinely, I mean, the two rookies performing as well, heads up plays out of control. Nero, when he needs to just 180 somebody, he's successful at that as well. Uh, this is the team that I think a lot of people had as maybe the clear-cut fifth best in the league, and they certainly looked like it, or certainly looked like it right there.